Boy's first chance came Puppet show, Mullen House reenactment. A ferocious wild beast was ravaging the countryside. It had already eaten several unfortunate peasants, and would no doubt eat many more unless it was killed. Although he was only eight, little Lafayette was determined to put a stop to this monster. Armed only with a wooden sword and telling no one of his secret plans, he left the chateau one fine spring afternoon and ventured into the dark, gloomy forest in search of the terrible creature. <laughs> When you're born to be a sissy without the women for you. What I thought, show my prowess, be a lion, not a mouse, if I only had the nerve. I'm afraid there's no denying, I'm just a dandelion, a fate I don't deserve. I be brave as a blizzard. Oh, oh, oh no, I, I hear someone coming. Where, where, where can I hide? Sacre bleu! This fearsome wild beast is terrifying everyone in the countryside. I must stop him. And I do not care that my grandmama has forbidden me to leave the chateau until he has been captured. I, Marie Joseph Yvrouche, Gilbert de Moutier, Marquis de Lafayette, and I alone will subdue the savage creature. Oh, 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 is that you? Is that you, fearsome beast? I hear you, and I am not afraid of you. Come out from behind that rocky, cowardly animal. Who are you? Why, you're you're only a little boy. What do you think you'll be able to do to me, a fierce wild creature of the forest? Your sword is only made of wood. You can't possibly harm me. Oh, I warn you, beast. Do not come closer. My sword may not be made of steel, but I will not hesitate to use it against you. Uh, all right, all right. Let's call a truce. You're a little boy, it's true. But I see now that you are quite brave. Yes, I am brave. I am the son of a soldier, and the grandson and great-grandson of soldiers, too, going back many, many hundreds of years. Where is your papa now? Why hasn't he come with you to the forest? Oh, my papa has been dead these six years. He died fighting a horrible English in the war. I despise the wicked English soldiers who killed him, and I live for the day when I will be able to avenge his death on the battlefield. I will be a soldier one day, every bit as brave as my father, my ancestors. You? Who are you? Why? I am the Marquis de Lafayette, but my friends call me Marie Josephe Rochebet de Montier. <laughs> Goodness, that's quite a mouthful. So your papa is dead in the war. Where is your mother? Has she died too? Oh, no, beast. Mama says that this gloomy countryside makes her unhappy without my father here. She has gone back to Paris to live with her own father. No father and no mother? Aren't you lonely? No, beast. I am never lonely. I live in the chateau with my grandmama, and she tells me wonderful stories about my papa, and my two aunts live in the chateau also, and my girl cousine. My cousine and I have lessons with our tutor. After that, we play games. Some people say that grandmama is quite strict, but she's not strict with me. She lets me do as I wish. Hmm. Does your grandmama know that you're here in the forest, searching for the wild beast? Oh, I mean searching for me. Oh, no. Oh, you must not tell her. She would be very cross if she knew. I mean to kill you and surprise her with my toy of my God. Only, now that I'm talking to you, I am not sure that I want to kill you. You do not seem as bad as I thought you would be. In fact, for a fearsome wild beast, you are really quite nice. Oh, you're a nice little boy, too. Marie-Joseph Yves Roche Gilbert de Mautier. I know that, as a wild beast, I should probably devour you. Oh. But I like you too much. You're a brave boy, and I admire that. Oh, please, beast. You must call me Gilbert. I am so I'm glad that we had this chance to meet. But I'm afraid we shall not see each other again for quite a while. In a few short weeks, Mama is coming to stay at the Chateau. And when she returns to Paris, I will be going with her. It's time I began my education as a soldier in the military school there. So you're to become a real soldier then, Gilbert? Oh, yes, indeed. And when I graduate from the military school, I will serve as an officer in the King's Musketeers. How marvelous. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank you, Beast. And I wish you... Oh.
why the Americans would welcome me with open arms. Then the matter is settled. I'll arrange a meeting with Dr. Franklin as soon as possible. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Now, I must convince my dear wife to let me sail for America, and it will not be easy. I face the most difficult task of all. 